uh, error that uh, sometimes occurs on the um, Condor X-Horse machine. And so uh, I'm sitting over here messing with the uh, uh, upgrade kit to clear that error. I've, I've had this happen twice before in the past like two years. So I'm at it again. Uh, one of the things I was having a problem finding was the... Uh, like if you have some kind of antivirus software on your on your computer it will block you from being able to download this because it says it's a virus so after searching and looking and searching and looking there's different uh, settings you can go into but this is what you got to turn off see i have the mccafe virus scan it's on snooze for 30 minutes and then it'll turn itself back on so that I'm safe from, uh, from having any issues. But what I did was I came over here and I clicked on this little arrow thing and I clicked on the little McCafe little bar and then change settings and then real time scanning. And then after that, I came over here, turn off real time scanning. I turned it off for 30 minutes. So whenever I'm ready to turn it on, I'll click turn on. Now I'm ready to do my upgrade. I have it connected to the back of the, um, the, I got the wire connected anyways. raining today I think it's reading the the machine I think so oh there it goes That's the first time I've seen that screen. I've seen two other types of screens. I've seen the black frozen screen, and I've seen the screen where it's like stuck on this screen, but there's a line across it in the middle. So I've seen uh, I've seen different screens, uh, different errors pop up. The re the reason why this error, uh, you know, that weird looking red and messy screen showed up was because whenever I was done cutting the key, it was like loading and i hate when it takes time to load right i turned off the machine and when i turned it back on that screen popped up yeah so uh you you shouldn't do that just always wait All right, let's see if i can let me just up upgrade today's my day off man and i don't want to be messing with this shit but I have to. I had to borrow the core, the cable to uh, from from one of my coworkers. Uh, I lost mine. I left it in a, a old van somewhere about three years ago, and uh, I for I I was meaning to buy one last year and I forgot about it. Now I'm gonna buy one because uh, I could have done this at home instead of coming over to the office. It's almost done. I wasn't able to really work yesterday because of this. So make sure you have your laptop, some kind of data Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone, and your your cable. And this could take only, you know, 10, 15 minutes tops, and you're and you're done, and you're back back to working again. I used a, uh, I used Breeze Zip to download it because you have to use uh, um, this to uh, mess with it. Let me see if I can pop it up. Okay. All right. So this was just telling me the different settings to go through. Let me see. No. 
Okay, where is it at? Okay, there was... Let me see where it's at. Okay, anyways, I downloaded... Uh, no, that's not it. Um, anyways, I downloaded the Breeze Whip under Mega Sync. It'll tell you that, so you can download this. Um, to download the, the file, uh, which is the... Let me see where it's at like this information right here so this is the one right here and then uh and i was able to open it up using the upgrade kit clicking on this one after i turned off the antivirus software um i tried to, i used this but uh i had this one downloaded so it ended up uploading to this and so that was good Still on black screen, updating flash.